Um, oh. You're stressing me out. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go. You are Garch. Left subclavian. Nope. Yep, left subclavian. Brachiocephalic. Common carotids. Okay, so the com common carotids come up to here, and there's a three-way branch, and they branch into internal. And the internal is that pink right there? Yep. Internal, external, and lingual. Oh, can you point out the internal again? Let's see it from up here. So we got those. Come back down here. So this is subclavian. You have three branches on the bottom. The first one is vertebral. <laughs> pull it out. Vertebral, costal cervical, and thyrocervical. And, and that was you were holding on to what? Subclavian. This is the subclavian. subclavian. And then three branches, vertebral, costal cervical, thyrocervical. And across from the costal cervical is the mammary. Yeah. Okay, so back to here. The thyrocervical comes through and comes down into here as your transverse scapular. And your subscapular continues as the axillary into two more branches, the ventral thoracic and the long thoracic. There's two red ones right there. Yep. And then after that branch, there's a branch going deep underneath, which is the subscapular. And after and the subscapular... And subscapular is going deep into the arm, right, you said? Yep. And then after the subscapular branch, it becomes brachial. The rest of the way. This is the azygous. It's the first branch off of the anterior vena cava, missing over here. You can see on this cap. Right okay. Which one is it? Or can you point it out? There, right there. Right there. Okay. So here we have our anterior vena cava. This is the internal mammary. And the anterior vena cava continues into the brachiocephalic branches. Off the brachial. So then brachiocephalic branches. They branch up into the external jugulars and into the subclavians. External jugular, subclavian. And then we got the in internal jugular and transverse. I want to show those. <coughs> Our transverse jugular is cut. It's a transverse jugular. And then these are your facial. This is facial. Which Posterior one's facial, anterior facial. All right. And then we got. The, the, ling the lingual artery. That red one, right? There. Oh yeah, we already went over We've that. Already went over. My, my. So this is external <laughs> jugular, internal jugulars, transverse jugular, anterior and posterior facial. Where that goes. So brachiocephalic, external jugular. External jugular branches into the cephalic. Which goes down and wraps around the shoulder. Which comes around. Cephalic. It's a subclavian. So the brachioce or brachiocephalic goes to the external jugular and the external jugular and subclavian. Subclavian, okay. So brachiocephalic. Subclavian, subclavian is really short. And it branches down into the subscapular. After that branch, it becomes axillary until the next branch, which becomes brachial. All right. Can you show the subscapular again? I just want to get a good kind of lift it. It goes, it goes down into the arm. Into the scapula. And it's right there where they're pointing. Subscapular. This is the abdominal aorta. First branch is the celiac. And the first branch off the celiac is the hepatic. You're good to go. 
Hepatic, so. coming off the celiac. First branch is the hepatic. The next branch is the left gastric. And then the final branch is branches into the splenic. I hope so. Abdominal aorta. The second branch is the craniomesenteric. Which branch which goes into the middle colic. And also iliocolic. Iliocolic arteries. So cranial, mesenteric, iliocolic. You should point out. Yeah, here's the branch underneath the hepatic vein. So cranial, mesenteric, iliocolic. Okay. Wait, but lift your hands up again. All right. Okay. All right. Here you go. Ready? Yep. The posterior vena cava branches into your renal vein and then your adrenal lumbar. lumbar that adrenal vein. Okay. And what I'm what I'm holding right here is your adrenal gland. So the adrenal lumbar vein runs right past that to the kidney and the adrenal lumbar artery is right alongside it. Okay, the so adrenal think, gland. Yep. Yep. So that's your adrenal gland, and then your renal artery runs right along the renal vein. Okay. The intestinal arteries oh, run the through the mesentery. All of those. To are. the small intestine. Right. So this is the abdominal aorta, caudal mesenteric artery, which continues through. Cotomesenteric artery runs along. And if you continue following the abdominal aorta, you come to this branch, which is the median sacral, median sacral which branches into both of the internal iliacs. Where is it? Okay, say that all again. So dorsal, abdominal aorta, mm -hmm. median sacral, Internal iliacs. Both those. Both of them. Okay. <clears> then <throat> after that, it continues as the external iliac until it branches one more time into the femor femoral and deep femoral. That's it's a leg. Femoral, deep femoral. Femoral, femoral. femoral will continue this way. Deep femoral. And if we go to the other side, here's the femoral, deep femoral branch. And continuing on the femoral, it continues into the articular. And the saffronous, which runs along the saffronous vein. Okay. A lot of people can't do that. Shh. She left her phone with you guys? Yeah. Abdominal aorta. So then you don't need one. We need your cord. <laughs> Abdominal aorta. Deep iliocircumflex. Which, which one's that? Right here. A okay. A little one, and it's on both sides, but it's hard to see on this side. And then we have the median sacral. Which branch? Median sacral right here, which branches into the internal iliacs. This is external iliac until this branch, femoral, and internal femoral. Deep. All right, we have a female and we have a male. And this is the female gonadal artery coming off of the abdominal aorta, running to the ovaries. Gonadal. <coughs> All right, here's the male, here's the abdominal aorta here, here's your renal. When you're coming off the abdominal aorta, posterior to your renal is your gonadal, which will run all the way down to the south pole. Into the testes. Oh, hold on a second, okay. A correction we have to make coming down from the abdominal aorta, when it branches into the cranial mesenteric, it does not branch into the left colic. It branches into the middle colic, which runs along the intestine until it branches into the left colic off of the caudal mesenteric. Where's the left colic? Can you hold it up? Like, grab that, the artery. Right That's left it's colic. Right it runs along the whole thing. So here's caudal mesenteric, cranial hemorrhoidal, and it comes up in here into the left. That's the left, and then where's the, middle, where's the middle, you said? Middle colic continues to run along all the way up into here and continues into the cranial mesenteric. Can see where you're at. But external iliac, femoral, deep femoral, 
and caudal epigastric artery. Deep femoral. Comes off the deep femoral. Deep femoral is short, and then the rest yeah, is the femoral. caudal epigastric. This is the hepatic portal system. Okay. Intestinals come into the cranial mesenteric right here. You also have your ileocecal, which then comes into your cranial mesenteric. Um, you have your caudal. This one's broken. See, I'm kind of connecting that. That's your caudal mesenteric, which will connect to the um, cranial mesenteric. And then this branch right here is your um, middle colic. So middle colic to caudal mesenteric to cranial mesenteric, intestinal to cranial mesenteric, ileocecal to cranial mesenteric. Um, you also have a posterior pancreatic duodenal, which then enters that cranial mesenteric. Then you get up to the hepatic vein right up here, where you have your um, gastrosplenic right here, which then splits to your posterior and anterior um, Splenics. You also have your um, coronary right here, which will enter into the hepatic. And then on the back side of the stomach, you have your right gastric. And the last one you guys need to know is your anterior pancreatic duodenal, which will then enter right around here. A little messy right there. You can kind of see the yellow right there. Run down here.